Hi, I'm Edward. In this video, I'd like to go through the flow of OnCue Prompter and teach you how easy it is to navigate through the app and use all the features. Um, I've actually created a graphic so you won't be looking at animations and stuff on the phone. But when you get to the phone, you'll see that it is exactly as I'm showing you. So when you first launch OnCue, the first thing you're going to find is that you're in the script window. It's going to have a default script, which is the first script. If you read that script, it's the instructions about how to use OnCue. From this, from this window, you have some options. The options you have are to create another script, edit the script that's already there, delete scripts, those type of things. And you accomplish all that by hitting the the edit feature here in the corner and change the mode. And then you'll see some buttons appear on the bottom that'll say copy, edit, new, whatnot. Um, when you're in edit mode, if you actually select a script, you'll navigate to the script editor. And the script editor in OnCue is a full feature rich text editor that allows you to um, use over 200 fonts on an iPad and do text colors, background colors, add emojis, all kinds of cool stuff that will actually show up in the scrolling text. Um, this is the only one real thing that's completely different between the iPhone and the iPad. The iPhone does have a rich text editor, but the feature is a little, isn't as robust. Um, you actually have to select some text and in the contextual menu that pops up, you'll see format text and a little text editor window or a text formatting window that has a few font styles, some font colors, and other basic um, formatting features will show up. It's still pretty cool and it, and it gives you a lot more than most of the other apps do. So basically you've created an app, a, a script, you've edited it, it says what you wanted to say, you have all the formatting, you save it, and you end up back in the main window again where the list of scripts are. And in this window, you'll see that the edit feature is no longer highlighted and you're, you're in the run mode. And so now if you select a script, you'll navigate to the script settings window. In the script settings window, you will set up um, how you want the script to behave, the speed you want it to scroll at, is it mirrored, what's the font size, is it going to loop, is it going to have a countdown. And another cool feature about OnCue is the ability to output to an external display as a secondary monitor, which allows you to flip the text on an external display. So say that we've set this up to go out to both um, the, the actual screen on your iPad and an external monitor. So when you hit this run prompt button here, it'll happen. You'll, you'll see the same exact thing on both screens. One of the cool features about OnCue is that we've actually taking, taken the main screen, whatever the iPad or the iPhone or whatever, the size of the device, and that's what controls the, the, what text appears on all other devices. So if you're using an iPhone and you're going out to an iPad, you're going to see the same number of lines of, t of script. You're going to see the same words. They're going to look pretty much identical except for on the iPad, it may look a little distorted because the screen has been stretched or pulled to match the aspect or I mean the, um, the aspect ratio of the actual device. But it still looks really cool and you won't notice anything real different about it. Now that I've told you about it, you will. So in the script editor, I mean the uh, scrolling canvas we call it, you have the ability to do some really cool things in OnCue. The, we, we already have the stuff pulled up here, but you'll see um, when you tap on the screen, the text will pause. And while the text paused, you're going to see three uh, corner buttons. The one on the right top is a free scroll button. By hitting that, this little gray pane on the side shows up. And by swiping your finger up and down, you can actually scroll through the text just like you were in a, in a regular um, scroll view anywhere in any document. On the other side is your exit, so that'll exit. It'll actually exit you out of this window back to the settings window. And in the bottom 
In the bottom left corner, you have a little gear, and that pops up with this scroll smoothness setting. And the scroll smoothness setting is, some, is a really unique feature that will really help you when you're connected to other devices or when you're connected to an external display like we've done in this example. But, I mean, that's basically the really cool stuff here. So we hit exit. We go back to the, to the script setting window. And from here, we have two choices. We can navigate back to our main window, or we can hit edit script and go into the script editor, make changes to the script, and then come back to this window and then start scrolling again. It saves you from having to go all the way back, then go to the script editor, then back to the main window, and then back to the settings. You can bypass all those steps just by going straight to the script editor and back into this window. So that's the basic, basic stuff. So now let's talk about the really, really cool stuff. Um, on -cue prompter is also capable of connecting to other devices via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. And you'll see when you're back in the main window, this little... Um, corner in the top left there's the word network by selecting that you navigate to the network selection window now there are five possible networks you'll see network one two three four actually I think there's more than that but anyway there's a bunch of networks um, you choose which one of those you want to connect to and then you choose whether you are going to be the server or the client now the server is the one that controls the entire session Whoever chooses to be the server, there can only be one server, and that server is the one that's going to select the text that's going to scroll, select all the settings, except for a couple that you'll see here soon. And then there's the client, and the client will be any peer from any device, iOS device, whether it be an iPhone, an iPad, an iPod Touch, um, but any iOS device can connect to OnCue um, no matter what device is controlling the session. So once you choose to be a client, you're going to land on the client window. Once you choose to be a server, you're going to land on the server window. The server window will have a list of all clients that are advertising to be part of the same network. All the clients and servers have to have had chosen the same network in the previous screen. Okay, so you're here and you the, the server seeing like in, in my example we have Dave's iPhone, Mary's iPod, I mean iPad and Sam's iPod touch. Well I said iPad touch, it's supposed to be iPod touch. But, um, from here by tapping on any one of these names the client will actually be informed that they have been invited to join the session. The server is the only member of the of this network that can invite anyone to join. So they have the option to say, yes, I want to be part of this session or no or whatever. But once they've joined, the little red dot turns green and the server is now connected to that peer. So after the server goes down the list and connects to everybody, he's good to go. The client is done. All they have to do is sit there and wait for instructions from the server except for a couple little details that the client actually has that they can control. One, they have the choice of whether their device will be mirrored or not mirrored. So if it's a client, the client can actually control the mirroring. So that's really cool because if you're if you're using the device as a confidence monitor, you don't want it flipped. Or if you're just reading along with what's scrolling and you're, you know, like a co-producer or whatever, you don't want to divide, you don't want to flip that device but if this device is actually on a teleprompter then we're going to mirror that script and it's going to be great so that's really the one thing and then the other thing is the allowing the server to make save changes automatically to your script you'll see here in a minute that all the scripts on on any peer device will be advertised to the server the server will have the choice to choose one of his own scripts or any of the scripts on any one of the connected devices to scroll during the session. That session will be controlled by the server and the server will, if he needs to, edit that script. Now it can be saved for the session or the server can save it back to the device that it came from, which is a really cool feature here. 
So basically, we're all set up with the client. The client's sitting there ready to go. The server now hits script viewer. When you, this, and then basically, we're going back to what we did in the very beginning of this video. From the script viewer, I'm going back to the main window. But now, instead of seeing a list of my own scripts, I'm seeing a list of my scripts and every other script on every device that belongs to the session. Once I decide what script I want to use, I hit the script itself, it goes to the setting window, and then from the setting window to the scrolling. So basically from that point, I'm running it just like I would have if I wasn't connected to the session. The only thing that's happening is that when I'm running scrolling text, the same scrolling text is on every other device that's connected to the session. Cool stuff, right? But it gets even better. OnCue Prompter is the only iPad teleprompter app that can be controlled by a game controller. That's right, not a multimedia controller like you see other teleprompter apps using where you just have pause and speed up. This is an actual game controller that has tons of functionality. Um, the functionality that you have is the ability to obviously pause and start, speed up, slow down, but how about fast forward and rewind, or double fast forward and double rewind, or actually starting the script back at the beginning so you don't have to scroll back to the top, or increasing and decreasing the font size. All these things can be controlled by a game controller, and if you bought a Telmax Teleprompter's iPad Teleprompter, you received a free game controller, but the other really cool thing, you wanna write this down, because it will work with any iCAD game controller, any one of them. So there's hundreds of them to choose from, from the size of a keychain controller to um, a, a really complex gaming um, game controller. And there's some really cool ones out there, so you may already have one, but that is one of the coolest features of this app, and you'll see that it transforms this to being one of the most functional and the coolest teleprompter app that exists. So anyway, now you have a rundown of the app and eventually we will get to the point that we show you um, some videos on the whole thing working and whatnot, but this gives you a lot to get started with.